chicken, southern chicken fried chicken ish, mad dishes yeah. like that. Well, I can see a prawn in here, so. Oh, I never had a prawn before. Mm. It's like, it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. No, oh, I was expecting that with that now. It's gumbo, guys. I knew oh. that from The Princess and the Frog. It's kind of like a liquefied burrito with prawns in it. This would be like what they have left over after cooking a big dinner. It's like, oh, what vegetables have we got left? Yeah. Oh, we've one or two prawns. Shut them in here and we have no <laughs> gumbo. I imagine Southern food, they're all kind of like warming and comforting, but it's quite warm there now. Yeah. You'd be getting the sweats. Okay. I think, yeah, yeah fishy is good. I like gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo's delicious. I have to say, I do not I don't, like the look of this. <laughs> they look like deep fried little poops. Is it deep fried poop? They're like little chicken testicles, aren't they? Yeah. That was way nicer than I thought it was going to be. Is beef it, nuggets. Yeah, or like beef like fritter or something. It's uh, an organ found in the digestive tract of some animals. <laughs> so this has helped make food. So this is the chicken stomach. The taste was actually yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it didn't taste bad. No, the taste was fine. It was just the idea of eating a gizzard. I've had chicken feet, I've had chicken arse, I've had chicken beak, you know? <laughs> they, their stomachs, now it's just nothing to me. That's meat, that's mince, is it? You're not grinding up gizzards for us, are you? It's like a surprise, I don't know what it is. It could be anything. It smells like uh, those gherkins. As an Irish person, I feel the need to recognise potatoes, you know? <laughs> this is definitely a potato, I hope. Yeah, it, it, it seems very Irish, to be mm, honest. That is definitely Irish. Oh, oh tater okay. tater tot. Ah, oh, tater oh. tot. I've heard many things about tater tot. That is a really tasty dish now. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It's like a good family wholesome dish, you know? Yeah. That grandma would make you just after church. This is the stuff Charlie Bucket used to eat before he went to the chocolate factory. Looks like something you'd feed a cow. Well then, let's <laughs> tuck in. I don't know what these little bits are, are they bacon bits? I don't want to know what they are. No, it's very chewy. Mm -hmm. I'm nev I've never been a fan of cabbage and yet I keep on eating it. This is hotter than Dirty Dancing. That film is hot. It's yeah. just like, feels like it takes ages to chew and then digest. Basically, all of their dishes, they're all right on their own, but they put them all together, now you're talking. Oh, uh, I thought it was gonna be like something nice, but it's it's clearly baby food. It smells sweet. Like, well, it smells a lot like custard. Uh, I don't get custard. Do you get custard? I thought it was gonna be custard. It tastes no. like an ingredient for some food that hasn't been cooked yet. Whoa. This is great. Sounds appetizing. <laughs> You've given even... me texture. To yeah. eat. That's all it is. I, I think it should have a more attractive name though. Grits. No, that's. <laughs> That's American, that is great. It's like very, 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 very watery mashed potato. I think we need to be more open-minded when we think about... Yeah, definitely. ...food in other countries. Yeah, because basically Americans would think we eat potatoes all yeah. the time. Yeah! But we eat other things. Yeah. I'm thinking they eat steaks all the time. Yeah. Apparently they eat other things. It's something in there that makes them go oh. 